Hello everyone. In this lecture, to give an even more better idea of how to apply law of restitution and conservation of angular momentum in the case of collision between rigid bodies, I'm considering this case. Here, there is a rod of length L and mass M. Length L, L is L I'm taking it as one meter and mass I'm taking it as two kilogram, which is rotating in the sense about its center of mass in this sense, that is in clockwise sense with angular velocity given by six radian second power minus one. On this rod, a particle of mass one kilogram and moving to right with velocity six meter second power minus one is instanting on this rod at one of its ends and point like this. Now, and assume that coefficient of restitution E is equal to two by three. By taking these values, I need to calculate what is the velocity of this ball and velocity of center of mass of rod and angular velocity of rod. All these things I should calculate. How many unknown variables are there? One is velocity of center of mass of rod, one unknown variable. Angular velocity of the rod after collision, second unknown variable. Velocity, linear velocity of this ball after collision, three unknown variables. So there are three unknown variables means I need to use three equations. So very straight away, first equation that I'm going to use here is conservation of linear momentum. First, we should check whether it is applicable or not. Check it. Because the rod is nowhere hinged at any point. There is no external impulsive force acting on the system because of which a linear momentum can be applied very simply. So because of which initial momentum, initial linear momentum, PI of the system is equal to. Initially rod is rotating, but velocity of center of mass is zero only because of which only ball has momentum. How much it is? Six into one which is to the right direction. Next, final linear momentum, PF. Because after collision, the ball is moving at the same time, rod also moving. Collision, after collision, velocity of the ball, I'm taking it as V1, and velocity of center of mass of rod, I'm assuming it is to the right direction. This, I'm taking it as V2, after collision. So because of which M1 is one kilogram, one into V1 is V1, plus M is how much? Two kilograms mass of the rod and velocity of center of mass is two. This is me two. So if we apply conservation of linear momentum, what I can write? Initial linear momentum is equal to final linear momentum. Two times V2. This is expression number one. Next step, I need one the second equation. For this purpose, I am applying conservation of angular momentum. About which point you can apply conservation of angular moment either about center of mass or about end point also. But here I will choose this end point which I am calling it as A. I am choosing end point I am applying about A. Why? The advantage of choosing this point is with respect to this point uh, linear momentum of this particle before collision and after collision is zero because line of action of impulse due to this particle passes through A because of which the angular moment of this ball before and after uh, collision about this line of impact is zero. So for that purpose only I am considering angular momentum about A. So what is the initial angular momentum of the system about A? For this ball obviously it is zero. What is about rod? Rod is rotating about its centroidal axis, center of mass. So because of which here its orbital angular momentum about A is zero, it will be having only spin angular momentum only. That is how much? I center of mass into omega only. That is equal to I center of mass is how much? ML square divided by 12 into omega is given how much? 6. If you calculate it, how much it is going to come? M is 2 kilogram, 2 L is 1 meter divided by 12 into 6, which is nothing but 1. This is the initial angular momentum of the system about A. Next, final angular momentum of the system about A, I am calculating is equal to final angular momentum. Because after collision, the center of mass is undergoing translatory motion and rod also rotating. Because of which it will be having both translatory and 
rotatory motion. In this case, it will have both orbital angular momentum and spin angular momentum. Orbital angular momentum is how much? I center of mass into omega. I center of mass is m l square divided by 12 into after collision, I don't know what is its angular velocity. I am calling it as omega 1. And it is rotating in this sense because of which I am calling it as minus k cap plus orbital angular momentum. To find the ang orbital angular moment, take this right side direction as i cap, this upward direction as j cap. Then m into m is how much? Capital M only I am taking into r. Position of center of mass with respect to this point. Distance from here to here is how much? L divided by 2, which is in J cap direction. Cross. Okay. Velocity of center of mass, V2. It is in which direction? I cap direction. That is equal to what I can write. M is 2, two kilogram only. 2 ones are 2, 6. L is equal to 1. Okay. So because of which 1 by 6. Omega 1 divided by 6, which is along minus K cap direction plus m is 2 kilogram, 2 to gets cancelled, l is 1 only, okay, uh, j cross i is minus k, so because of which it, this will become, this whole thing become 1 now, so v2 into minus k cap, of course here rod is rotating in this uh, clockwise sense, you know, this is along minus k cap direction, that is equal to how much you are going to get here? I am dropping all this uh, my uh, case because all of them are along k direction only because of which final angular momentum of the system about a is equal to how much you are going to get omega 1 divided by 6 plus v2. Now applying the conservation of angular momentum what you are going to get here v2 plus omega 1 divided by 6 is equal to how much you are going to get 1. This we can write it as 6 v2 plus omega 1 is equal to 6 which I am calling it as equation number 2. Now I am going for third equation. For third equation this is very crucial point here. For third equation I should use law of restitution. Here I assumed coefficient of restitution is 2 by 3. So law of restitution. So what is law of restitution co uh, coefficient of restitution e is equal to v21 bar divided by u12 bar along which direction along line of impact i should apply it along the line of impact that implies e is how much according to the given problem 2 by 3 is equal to v21 velocity of second particle that is the rod velocity of rod along line of impact because after collision what's happening rod is undergoing both translation and rotation because of which first I should find out what is the velocity of A with respect velocity of A so because A is the line uh, point of impact so here I am writing here velocity of A is equal to what you can write velocity of A with respect to center of mass plus velocity of center of mass a with respect to center of mass. With respect to center of mass, A will be in the state of rotation. So because of which V is R omega, R is how much? L by 2 and v, which is pointing in minus J direction. Okay, because of which its velocity at that instant will be in this direction. Okay, so this right direction I have taken as positive because of which I should take it as negative minus omega L divided V is equal to R omega R is L by 2 into omega which is pointing in this direction plus velocity of center of mass velocity of center of mass is how much V to 1 that I am writing here so V2 minus omega L divided by 2 minus V1 what is V1 V1 is the velocity of this ball after collision that I am writing as it is V1 divided by u1 minus u2 what is u1 velocity of this ball before collision how much it is given 6 minus okay what is the velocity of a before collision before collision do you remember rod is under pure rotation there is no translation report because of which with respect to this point 
the velocity of this particle is r omega only r is here how much l by 2 into omega is given how much 6 and it is rotating in this clockwise sense because of which a has a velocity in left direction because of which it is minus okay so let us substitute what is omega i don't know i should calculate omega only after collision okay let me call after collision i called it as omega 1 no so because of which i should use omega 1 here okay so i'm doing cross multiplication here 2 3 2 6 12 into 2 2 gets cancelled l is 1 minus into minus plus plus 6 is equal to i'm multiplying it with 3 3 v2 minus l is 1 only 3 by 2 into omega 1 minus 3 v1 okay so what can i write from this expression 12 plus 6 is how much 18 18 and they were um, both sides you cancel 3 then what you will be getting 3 6 18 6 is equal to v2 minus omega 1 divided by 2 minus v1 this i am calling it as equation number 3 now by using how many unknown variables are there okay how many unknown variables v1 v2 and omega 1 three unknown variables three equations let us try to solve this system this is v2 and omega 1 this is v1 and v2 okay v1 plus 2 v2 so this i am taking this equation number 3 and multiplying it by 2 so 12 is equal to what i can write 2 v2 minus omega 1 minus 2 v1 so here i have relationship between v2 and omega v2 and omega 1 if i retain i want to cancel out 2 v1 so here v1 is there i am multiplying equation number 1 multiplying equation number one with two and two v one this is minus two v one and adding with let me call this as equation number three adding with equation number three so when you multiply equation number one with two what you will be getting twelve is equal to two v one plus two to the four v two I'm adding it equation number three. What is that? 12 is equal to 2v2 minus omega 1 minus 2v1. If we add these two equations, what we're gonna get here? Minus 2v1, 2v1 gets cam plus 4 plus 2 is 6v2 minus omega 1 is equal to 24 okay and v2 and omega 1 relation here there is equation number 2 i am adding it with this equation 6 is equal to 6 v2 plus omega 1 if i add these two omega 1 omega 1 gets cancelled 6 plus 6 12 v2 is equal to 30 that implies v2 is equal to what you're gonna get 30 divided by 6 5 za, 6 2 za, is equal to how much we will be getting 5 by 2 is 1.2.5 sorry 2.5 meter second power minus 1 v2 value i got it as 2.5 i got okay next if you substitute this v2 back into this equation that is 6 is equal to 6 into 2.5 plus omega 1. How much you will be getting here? 6 5 is 36 to the 12 plus 315. If we send it, omega 1 is equal to minus 9. Radian second power minus 1. Next, I want V1. So to calculate V1, I will use equation number 1. 6 is equal to what you can write v1 plus 2v2 
to v2 2 times v2 is 2.5 means 5 that implies v1 is equal to 1 meter second power minus 5 like this by applying conservation of linear momentum conservation of angular momentum and law of substitution i'm able to calculate velocity of center of mass of the rod and velocity of the angular velocity of the rod and velocity of the bar after collision.